Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are going to make a new material in Cater V5 which is the nitanol. Have you heard about it? Like it is a material that can gain its shape after deformation by just applying the heat over it. Okay. So we are going to make ma that material in Cater V5. So for that um just search on a google but the property of nitanol you can get the first page like that after that go on catium so now um go on infrastructure material library those who don't have the software just get it from the link below and download it and install it it's it's a very simple process okay and now um double click on clicking on new material so you can find on the analysis there are the structural properties are given here so we need to put that thing here okay so for that you can see the young's modulus of an on nitanol which is in which is in austenite form the difference between austenite and martin martin site is the uh, grain structure okay so we are taking in the in terms of austenite okay so austenite is 83 mega uh, gigapascal okay so now 83 and uh, nine zeros after that one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and the poison ratio of this material is 0 0.33 density it will be density of this material is is 4.65 gram cubic per centimeter okay here we have the uh, kg per meter cube so it is it will be Mm -hmm. yeah uh, it, it will be 6450 is 10 to power 3 will become kg per meter cube okay and the yield strength of this material is yield strength of this material is 690 megapascal okay 690 megapascal uh, is 10 to power 6 so we have to give the 6 zeros right right right, right now one two three four five six after that the thermal expansion which is here it is um yep degree celsius right okay so it will be 11.0 e minus six so it will be uh, four zeros after decimal point and it, it will be negative okay so it will be minus zero point one two three four double one i hope i like i hope you got my point okay i'm just naming it as nitinol and we have to give the rendering so rendering is very important as like how the material should should look look look, look like okay so to be like instant it look a uh, very grayish color okay so we have to give the property like this like, like the rendering uh, rendering feature like that sorry So it's a totally uh you can say a uh, self-choice like how like how we can do the thing okay apply and okay after that press ctrl s on your keyboard to save this material so i'm just saving on my on my desktop okay so that's it after that like uh, how to apply the material on a body or a or, or in a in a model okay so in the last video of mine i have designed the wolverine claws okay so it's a pretty good video you can watch it okay so after that i'm opening that that that, that thing here you can find this file in the description link okay so just download it for your like use okay so it will it, it look, look like this so for now i'm uh, applying a material first clicking on part one apply it you can see the material is already on here i'm i'm telling you how to open it so just click on this you can find the material over here click on this and press open so you can get the material from here okay so just apply the material okay change the view you can see the material is applied directly to the model and it looks very fine 
i hope you like this video and give a th big thumbs up to it and please subscribe to my channel that's a uh, list you can do and for more updates please make sure you are pressing the bell icon and see you for the next time it's a great journey with you guys like i'm crossing already 500 sub sub subs uh, this month and it's a very good feeling for that for, for now and uh, i i hope i can get your full support in that thing so that's it in the next video i'm going to make a f1 spoilers okay so stay tuned guys